So this show, AP Bio, um, uh, I, full disclosure, because I love this show, but I'm one of the producers on this show. And <laughs> I'm so happy uh, that you are playing this role. You are playing a teacher who, uh, we sort of set it up in the clip, but you are not a good person. Would you say that's accurate on the show? Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's pretty accurate, yeah. yeah. Um, or at least I'm trying not to be a good person. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 think the, I think the secret sauce to the show is that um, he, he is extremely selfish and narcissistic, but ultimately, and I think... Uh, the creator, Mike O'Brien, has done yes, such a, a great job. Yes, a writer. He's, he's amazing. He was on SNL for six years as a writer. And um, he's created a character who, who puts on this front of being extremely selfish and narcissistic. But I think under it all, there is some heart there. But yeah, he basically goes into the class and says, I'm, I'm not going to teach you anything. You know, this is a free period for you. <laughs> yeah. And if you, if you <laughs> do what I tell you to do uh, and, and don't try to make me teach you biology, then I'm going to give you all an A. Uh, which I think is, to most classes, that would be, that would be like a, a sweet deal. But these kids, and, and this is part of what makes the show so different, is these, these kids actually want to learn something, and that's a problem for me. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to have to do I, uh, you, you offer them Advil uh, or Tylenol PM. You actually give them a chance to just take a pill and fall asleep for an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's basically what you would want your teachers to do yeah. when you were in school, but not these kids. You, did you have important teachers in your life? Were you someone who... Uh, Hmm. <laughs> Important teachers? Oh, yeah, that sent you on your path. I mean, you ended up going to Juilliard. I did. Uh, so obviously something happened in high school that made you think, oh, I should be an actor. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't say I had any, I didn't have any like lean on me type teachers, uh -huh. you know, any stand by me. Uh -huh. you, know? you didn't have a lean on me stand or a stand by me? me? <laughs> stand by me. <laughs> I had no one by me, yeah. basically. Um, no, uh, I didn't have any teachers who like turned my life around or anything like that. But I, no, I tell you, there, there was there was this one teacher that I loved, and he was uh, he was my health teacher. I think his name was Coach Scott because he was also the the football coach. Uh -huh, yeah. The health teacher is never just the health teacher. He's always something I think else. my my health teacher was also our football coach. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, yeah, I, I don't get that really. I think he was like the offensive line coach, but also the health teacher. Because I mean, who? better to teach you about, you know, your budding human sexuality <laughs> than an obese high school Alabama football coach. <laughs> you know, he's, he's the one you want teaching you about your, about your body and all the feelings you're feeling. I feel like back in the day, health teacher was a different thing. It was based, it was like, who knows how to do squats? Oh, and yeah. then, it, but then it became more about, like, sex ed, and there, it took a while for people to adjust as to who should be the better teacher. There. Yeah, and it seems like that's based on where you are in the country, right? Because in Alabama, it's like, uh, we have to talk about sex, but we really don't want to talk about sex, but we should, but we can't. And yeah. well, you know, so listening to this man try to explain the secondary sex characteristics of a female was <laughs> very uncomfortable. <laughs> So, but you, you had a very interesting upbringing. Your dad was in the Air Force. You traveled all around the world. Yeah. And then ended up uh, at high school in Alabama. What was, by the time you got to high school, like, was your international experience, did that make you ready for an American high school or not ready for an American high school? Uh, I had, so, no, not, not, yeah. I would say not ready. Okay. Uh, I mean, because I, I, most of the schools I'd gone to were, they were like, um, they were military schools. Uh, so other kids were always coming in and everybody was like, hey, and, and welcoming each other. But when I moved to Alabama, everybody had been there and grown up together. So... You know, uh, I just felt like a real dork. I, yeah. You know, I was like, hey, what's what, nice to meet everybody. And everyone's like, no, who are you? <laughs> Get out of here, you know? Did you at least, like, had you, is, was it true you were in Korea for a while? Yeah. yeah so we, did you at least know what American pop culture was or <laughs> American style? Uh, we had, like, one American station on the TV. Uh, so I knew Jeopardy. Uh, <laughs> And cartoons. Uh, <laughs> but no, I mean, my parents were, first of all, they're not, they, I love them. They're, they're such wonderful, wonderful people, but they weren't like hip. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So like they were going to, and my mom's so cheap. So <laughs> we would go to this, uh, this Korean market called Itaewon, and she would buy us like the cheapest knockoff, like members only, you know, <laughs> and the Velcro sneakers. And basically, so basically when I showed up to school in Alabama, everyone had like their, whatever was cool in Alabama, their polo shirts, and I had, like, a guy on a horse, but it wasn't. <laughs> right. It wasn't the right guy. He wasn't playing polo. He wasn't I don't know what he was horse. doing. He was playing a different sport. It was, was a weird was, horse. It was yeah. a weird horse. <laughs> they didn't have four legs. It had, like, three legs because they... You know, they could because of copyright things. Uh, so yeah, I was wearing clothes from like a di different decade. It was it was it was bad. It That's was fantastic. Bad. Um, I'm glad that I'm glad everything worked out for you and yeah. you found a place where you're comfortable and happy. Uh, <laughs> the woods, uh, where you in can the survive in the woods. That's right. Uh, thanks so much for being here. I'm so excited for the show. I'm so happy to be working with you, Glenn Howard.